yesterday. If you recall, two weeks ago, we were in this exact room. And some of you pushed me to say what my red lines were in the Democrat bill. It was Jake continuing to ask. But Jake actually made it clear in the playbook, PM. I didn't want what I may have disagreed with to get in the way of reaching a consensus. I literally said I would not point out where I disagree because I want to find places we can agree. I want to make law. Contrast to how Speaker Pelosi responded to Senator Tim Scott's bill. She said Republicans are trying to get away with murder, the murder of George Floyd. Tim Scott has not been working on this bill just for one month. This has been a life passion of Tim with his own personal life experience. That's why he found his success when Opportunity Zones are funding of black colleges. Her words are reprehensible. This is actually a new low for Speaker Pelosi when it comes to just trying to score points with her newly radical base. Think for one moment. This is the Speaker of the House of Representatives. The job of Speaker is too big for words so small. Does anyone in her conference stand by her on these words? Do they call Tim Scott wanting to get away with murder? Contrast what happened in the Senate yesterday. Simple request to get on the bill where you could start debating to become law. Democrats said they would need amendments. First five was going to be good enough, no. Went as far as to offer 20 amendments just to start the debate. Contrast to what we see here. From committee to floor, not one Republican amendment is going to be allowed. Never consulted us on the creation of this bill. I've reached out to those on the Democrat side, explaining that I wanted to make law. I wanted to work together. And I still do. The only place this is a holdup is the Democrats' partisanship to try to make this political instead of finding a solution. Schumer has no reason why not to debate the bill, even being given 20 amendments. Name me one amendment Republicans are being offered to even debate on the floor, not one. Name me one amendment that the Democrats allowed in committee. Name me one meeting the Democrats had in crafting their bill with anybody on the other side. And then the words of the speaker. America expects more and deserves more. Perhaps the speaker is caught being silent on the rioters, rioters and criminals who continue to destroy and deface the heroes and history of our country and assault innocent citizens because she wants to appease the radical left. The statue of St. Sarah in the speaker's own district was destroyed. I joined the speaker in praying with Pope Francis in front of St. Sarah's statue in the Capitol in 2015. When the mob wanted to destroy it, she condoned it, like she never heard of St. Sarah a bit like Peter's denial. And this week in Wisconsin, criminals took down the statues of an abolitionist who died fighting to end slavery during the Civil War, and Lady Forward, a symbol of women's suffrage movement. Worse, they physically assaulted a Democrat state senator, kicking him in the head, knocking him out cold. So much for peaceful protests that the speaker continues to celebrate. Civil society cannot survive with this type of lawlessness. If cities and state leaderships fail to uphold the rule of law, Congress should move to withhold their funding. The time